The most famous spacecraft in history is the Apollo 11 space capsule, and I'm going to show you it up close and everything that's cool about it. Hey guys, I'm standing in front of the Apollo 11 space capsule that Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins took on Apollo 11 to the moon. This is off of the Saturn V rocket, the tiny little little um, cone-shaped thing that just before the little tower at the top of the rocket. And this is just incredible because it's he it's um it's stored here at the Ufarhazy Space Museum temporarily before it gets moved to Washington DC to their museum there. And as you can see, it's on this movable structure which is really cool to see since they've been transporting it around the world for showcases everywhere. And now it's here for a, a short time before they take it to a permanent Apollo exhibit down in Washington, D.C. Now, if you look up at the top, you can see these two big holes or big carriers. Um, they're, huge, they're pretty big. Um, those held the parachutes. And what those were is the, the um, when the, the space capsule came in from re-entry, a top part would explode off and then the parachutes would come out of those big um, containers and then stop the thing from crashing into the water. So if you look over here, you can see these two um, little circle things with like gold. And those are the waste dispense, dispense systems. So when the astronauts had to do number one, they it would get dispensed through here. And there's actually gold on the front of those. They'd come out through tiny holes and that gold prevented the um, the pee from crystallizing over the hole so then it would get held back. So it could just go into space and crystallize, which was a really cool sight. Now, this thing, look, this capsule looks very brown. And the reason for that is because after um, re-entry, it's been cooked like a marshmallow. They actually, if you look at it before it launched, you can see that it's like very beautifully, um, it's very beautifully white. And what they had here was actually a thermal protection system. So if you look, there's honeycomb everywhere on the, on the, um, the space capsule. And what the woman did before this thing took to space is they had these little um, gun, they had these little um, gel guns and all across the capsule, they filled in all these little honeycomb holes, every single one of them manually, so that they would burn off during re-entry, and then there would be enough left to protect them as they hit the water. It's really incredible. And these holes that you see all around the capsule, those are called art reaction control thrusters that would um, spew out certain um, types of fuel that would control, control the capsule and make it spin if they were going off course and make sure it was off course. So if you look inside there, you can see the switches that the astronauts would use for certain systems like oxygen, um, cooling, voice dispense, and then you can see the three seats. The one that you're looking at right now held um, Buzz Aldrin, the one in the middle, you can see right there. The one on the left held Neil Armstrong and the one on the right held Michael Collins. This is just amazing. So, thank you for enjoying this with me. Please subscribe, share our videos, and excitement about space with everyone.